That looks like one of those medieval versions of hell that you see. That's freaking insane. I gotta get in front of this thing. I gotta get a- I gotta get a selfie. Hey guys, welcome back to Project Zomboid. Uh, the last time we did some looting in town, and this time we're probably gonna head back into town again. Now that we just got today, we've got a much faster car, but it's not very durable. My real goal is to find whiskey. I've got a lighter on me. I believe- did I- yes, I did bring it on me. And I got tons of sheets, too, for my house. Actually, some of these things I forgot to leave there. Um, that's fine, I can put them in my car for now, though. But my real goal is to find a bottle of whiskey and burn out the horde of zombies in town. Now, since I've got respawning set to zero, it's gonna feel more like I'm making progress every single time that I get a kill. So I want to see if I can take out a bunch of them and kind of take back that side of town. Now, no matter if I destroy a couple of the houses, no matter if I destroy a lot of them, I really just want to take out a lot of the hordes there. Um, because I'm not really going to be able to get back into that part of town. <laughs> Partially just due to game lag, because there's so many. There are just so many zombies in that part of town. Um, I just got to see, though. I think we're actually at, like, late... At the late part of Twilight right here. And the, it, once the game starts to slow down, I'll know... Because this is the experimental build, I'll know if I'm near the horde. Because they are still heading... In Whoa! <laughs> nice physics right there. Now, I, they are still headed toward my house, and you can see that a couple of the hordes have started to get closer. Maybe drawn in towards my vehicle. Oh, okay, this is it. Yeah, this is the... This is the front end of it. And there's the rest coming on like... Freaking flies on a shit. Wow. Oh, that's such an awful phrase. <laughs> it, just, uh, it just brings up the image. Okay. Let's see how my car's condition is after that. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely not good for my hood. Okay, I'm just gonna park it over here. Make a quick getaway in case something happens. Now I'm gonna get in my aerobics for the day. Cause, uh, I'm not gonna really stand a chance against this many. But, I do want I mean, obviously I can run faster than them. I wanna see if I can get away. Not attract them to my vehicle too much, and I want to make my way into town. Now, I shouldn't be so far off that it's too far to run, but... Probably in the next... Minute or two, in real time. Uh, not in game time. In game time, I guess that would be about... I don't know, an hour. They should stop running at me, and then they should stop completely. Until then, I'm just gonna have to run away. Now, this is how I used to have to play it in my other, uh playthroughs with 28 days later or something else. It may seem foolhardy, but as long as I don't trip over any logs or anything, I should be able to outrun them. So I'm gonna make sure I don't chase them, have them chase me into any dead ends. It's impressive how, how many of them there are. Now, my next goal for, like, my next crazy things that you can do in Zomboid videos, because it seems like many of them are more available now, is I'd like to get the entire screen filled up with zombies, so I've been kind of debating on how to do this. And I think I'm gonna have to do it on foot, because I think in cars I would crash the game. Oh, that part was a little bit risky, I guess. Yeah, I don't want them chasing me over too many- Ah, this is getting to be a little bit cumbersome. I thought that they would have stopped running at me by now. <laughs> now I know how it feels to be you, Will Smith. Should I get back in the car? I'm kind of debating on it. I thought they would have stopped by this point. Alright, you know what, let's get back in the car. See when they stop running at me. Just because this thing is extra fast. Like, the thing that seems crazy to me and that needs to be kind of changed... Oh wow, they just stopped right now. Finally. Um, not needs to be changed. That makes me sound so, like demanding of the Project Zomboid developers. The one thing that kind of does confuse me, though, is that, like, I think that the top sprinting skill is about as fast as one of the slower cars. Oh, what? You just change your minds and half of you are going to run at me now? Okay, I got to figure out which ones are running at me. I think once they get, like, within a certain radius of me, then they just stop running no matter what. Now, let's go into town and see how bad this is. 
Wow, why did I just run in the middle of that? That was so dangerous. What if I had broken my leg? Oh, that's gotta be the most I've ever seen. Wow. Impressive. Impressive. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. Maybe I could try this house. There's probably a lot in here, though, from horde migrations. Let's see. I, well, I don't want to do any of those things. No, I wanted to remove the broken glass, but... Let's see if I can get in a window. Is there just a door over here? No, this... One of those, like, old colonial-style houses. Not many windows. You know, it used to be considered a luxury to have windows in your house. I just thought of, wouldn't this be a cool stat? Like, if you could control whether the zombies could run when they're inside, sort of make it, like, I don't know, zombies that are afraid of the sun or something like that. Why would they be afraid of the sun? The sun is the source of all life. For Pete's sake. Well, if I don't get anything else by the end of this, I should have a lot of, um, a lot of experience and kills. Oh, I gotta be careful. Some of them are, like, running up. Um, peanut butter. I'll take that. God, they're like the bad guys in, in Emily Wants to Play. Oh, man. They just keep coming out of the, out of the woodworks. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. This place is starting to get swarmed. What, I can't open it from inside? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's just a stuck window. Uh-oh, that one got a hit on me. Wow, I didn't know that that could be done during the day. Oh, shit. <laughs> what if I just, like, got up into the top room? This is completely swarmed by the end of the day. Holy crap, look at that. Look at that shit. <laughs> this has to be the best... Most, like, sudden thing that's ever happened. What if the sun just went down and I didn't even notice it? Oh, that's friggin' impressive. See, like, this is how I gotta line them all up. I gotta get whiskey. Once I get whiskey, I could just throw a rag into my, um... Into the bottle with the whiskey, and then I'm gonna use the lighter, and that's gonna take out, like, all of these guys at once, because they're just so densely packed that that's their main weakness. Their strength is also their weakness. I'm like a freaking ninja or somebody who's trained to, to use their opponent's strengths against them. Except with zombies. Now, I need to find this. Even if it crashes the game, I think just the spectacle of seeing this many zombies on fire would, would please me. Would please the horror movie loving kid in me. Oh, you know what? It's not even worth it with the snob death. I just go for the insta-kills now. Okay, I am starting to get a little bit of frame rate lag now. I, I guess that's a good sign? Um... I was trying to figure out exactly how you get that stab kill, and I, I think it might be like when they're approaching you to get in a bite. That that's when you are able to get in the stab. Either that or as, like, a sneak attack if they're not aggroed by you or something like that. Not 100% sure about that, though. If anyone could clarify, that would be great. Let's see. Not whiskey. Kitchen knife, I'll take it. Canned corn. Uh, I don't know why that looked so appealing to me. I'll grab it. Uh, oh, what, what did I do with that knife? Oops, oops. Uh, oh, that did not sound like a hunting knife breaking. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get out of this one. I gotta find that whiskey. I gotta find that whiskey today. I'd like to. If possible, I just gotta keep checking people's kitchens. Oops. Come on. There we go. Nice. See, that one was just a... Oh, that was weird. I got the animation for what I wanted, but I didn't get the... Oh, strange. Strange. I'm not getting that kill. Okay. 
It'd be weird if you just said the, the word of the emotion that you're feeling at a time. Strange. <laughs> be like the opposite of how people act. Timer. I don't know if I could do anything with the... You know, a timer is kind of rare. I haven't seen this in a lot of places, so I'm going to take it with me just for, for shits and giggles. Uh, potato seeds packet, carrot seeds packet. All these are eventually going to pay off seriously to me when we get many months into the apocalypse. Oh, wow. It looks like the zombies and the Irish people. I mean, it is St. Patrick's Day, and I'm Irish, so I could say this. <laughs> uh, have gone in and drunk in all the whiskey. Here we go. It gives me permission to say it. <laughs> right? Irish people getting triggered to whiskey jokes. It's just the thought of it. Let's keep on trying. No, no whiskey here. No, oh, grapes. I guess we could ferment some wine and then see if we could... Oh, how come you could make... Actually, I don't even know the answer to this. How, why can't you make a Molotov cocktail with only, like, whiskey and not... I guess it just needs high percentage alcohol? In which case, why can't you just use rubbing alcohol? Is that too flammable and it just, like, goes up in flames in a... But that wouldn't make any sense. You want it to go on fire. I'm just running myself in circles now. Oh, a can of oats. No. Still not what I'm looking for. Uh, if I find only food, it'll be sort of worth it. Sort of, kind of, maybe. I mean... Yeah, eventually I want flour. This seems like really heavy to take with me right now. I'm getting so much stuff though in this run, it's gonna be worth it. Uh, get away from me, man. Mechanics for intermediate. Ah, that's gonna be nice later on. Electricity for beginners. It's a good book, but... It's getting kind of heavy. I just want to see if we can find that bottle of whiskey now. Okay, probably not going to be in the bedroom. Unless that's where they store their whiskey. If they're those kinds of drinkers. I don't even know what that says about you. I I think that mainly just says that you're a college student who's under 21 or something like that. Who's trying to hide all of the liquor. Everyone's doing it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, wood glue is nice. Let's see, uh, fresh onion, there we go, come on, come on, oh, the next house, oh, I feel good in this house, I think this is actually one of the houses that you could spawn in, or like one of the main ones that you spawn in, oh, 9mm, why would you keep 9mm rounds in the fucking kitchen, <laughs> could you pass me a garbage bag and some 9mm rounds, I have to shoot myself in the face after I take out the garbage, <laughs> Jesus, why would you put those there? Why would anyone put those there? I mean, I guess it's like a good place to leave them if you want to ward off intruders if- and you're like doing the dishes. Oh shit. Oh shit, there are many. There are many, and I'm pretty far from my car, so if it became night now. I could just run for my life like crazy for a little while. Assuming that I do find the Molotov, maybe I could use it, but that would put me in more danger for a few seconds. If I had fiery, horrible zombies chasing me, they might even chase- Oh, crap, I didn't even think about that. What if they, like, make a fire that leads to my house and then everything dies on its way- <gasps> I found it! Oh, after all that bullshit. Whoa! He really wants to drink. <laughs> that looks like, like, the commercial for a really good whiskey or something like that, you know, like- some guy finds whiskey and then he gets attacked by a zombie that wants to drink the whiskey. If I had a whiskey brand, that would be my commercial. Now, let's put this stuff in my bag. Oh, well, thank God that I brought these sheets with me. Okay, now I gotta put it together. For Christ's sake. Um. Uh. Crap, I forget. I f where is my whiskey recipe? Uh, Molotov cocktail. Molotov cocktail. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, I need ripped sheets, so I gotta rip up the sheets. Uh, think, Rob, think. You gotta rip clothing like that. Okay, how can I do this while 
burning down the minimum amount of West Point. Huh. Well, first off, let's make him. I guess I'll make two. Right. Game, prepare to crash. I'm gonna get the main hordes with it. I wonder if I should get- no, obviously I shouldn't gather them up at night, but I may want to make a ruckus somehow. Let me just keep calling them out, keep calling them out. Come on, free dinner. Okay, I think that this is one of the main hordes, and then the other- I'm gonna probably burn down this whole block if I do this. But that'll probably be a lot of them for a few blocks over. I may want to wait till night. It'll be interesting to come back here tomorrow and see what it looks like. And by tomorrow, I mean in one or two episodes. Either that or I'm just going to lose the entire save file because the game will... Possibly crash. It will very possibly crash and then I'll be sad. You get, I'm going to get one right in the middle of this and then I'm going to go out in the fields and get that other one. Oh, come on. Oh, I gotta equip the lighter to the secondary. I forgot about that. Uh, uh, lighter. Oh, yeah, by the way, UI FPS drops are not... Or, they're kind of like... Uh, they're at the... Ex uh, they're happening so that the game doesn't lose FPS. Alright, bottoms up. Or whatever. Wow, did it even process... It? Wow, it did. It did. Okay. You know, we're not going to see the effect, but it's going to happen. I'm- wow. Wow. That's a lot of them. As Forrest Gump once said, that's all I have to say about that. Oh no, they're not- they're not walking, they're not aggro, so they're not spreading around the fire as well. Oh no, the fire will go out at this rate, I have to keep aggroing them around. Come on. Come over here. I just gotta spread them a little bit more this way. Okay, okay, not worth my life, not worth my life. Wow, did they put it out? Oh no, I thought they were like, putting out the fire because there were just too many bodies between them and there wasn't enough oxygen for the spot fire to spread. I was like, there's a lot of air above them for, for Christ's sake. Okay, let's get out into the fields. I'll see what happens with that tomorrow. We're probably just going to see a lot of burned zombie corpses, so... Check in again later to see what happened. Uh, but for the other time... Let's see, I think there were a lot, like, up against this wall. Too. I don't know where they got put off. Oh, here they are. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. I gotta figure out the densest spot of them. Yeah, I think I'm coming into it. Hey, they kind of spread out. Ah, uh, they're probably all in this house. Whoa, they had like a big ass, like, southern, like, frat house party. That's huge. Look at that, I'm just gonna burn down the whole house. Okay, I just gotta be sure of that, the, uh, where the center of this horde is. And I'm gonna burn this one to pieces. Alright, here goes nothing. I gotta get more- I gotta get closer to the center. They're probably gonna get aggroed toward the house. You know what would be really effective would be putting an alarm clock right down nearby where the center of your Molotov is and setting it for a couple minutes from then. I think I'll use that technique in the future. I'm gonna throw it right at the doorway though, because that's probably where the most mobility is happening. All right, here goes... Great, it is gonna catch the whole house on fire too. I kinda wanna see this happen. I've never actually used fire offensively in the games unless it was just like to do something absolutely ridiculous. Um. I guess we'll just stab the ones that come near me. Get the extra kill skill. There we go. Get a couple more. That guy too. Wow. Good. Now let's see what happened with the other horde, too. I'll keep aggroing these guys out here, because I want them to stay away from my side. Yeah, I don't want the fire spreading over here, so I'm just going to keep aggroing them back toward town. And then, 
That'll get the other ones on this side of the wall. Wow, they're all coming out from the wall now because they all got aggroed at me when I was running over the air. That's crazy. Not that crazy, though. Right, let's head over the wall, see what became of that one. I'm just wondering what like what happens with the game's processing when I'm not there. Like, does it process these fires? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> wow, that's amazing that the engine can handle all this. Like, how many, how many computer calculations is that happening at once? That's crazy that I can still get this much. Oh my goodness! My, it must suck to be one of them. But I feel like that's only gonna burn down that, like that one horde. Just lead them through like some sort of twisted hellish party. Like that looks like one of those medieval versions of hell that you see. That's freaking insane. I gotta get in front of this thing. I gotta get a I gotta get a selfie. I got let me take a selfie. <laughs> Shit. Look at this thing. That's probably the best thing that I've ever done in like the last week. And I've done some crazy good shit in the last week. Oh my gosh, like I learned to use a synthesizer, but well, that's pretty cool too. But that this this has to take the cake for like immediate gratification. That is so cool. Holy crap, look at that. Is are there any right behind me? No, there's none right behind me. Wow. Oh my gosh, I you know I dreamed of this stuff as a teenager. Like I was so into zombie movies as a teenager. It's crazy. I dreamed of being able to like simulate this kind of stuff. <gasps> it's actually happening. Well, then I also dreamed that I was getting attacked by zombies. I had a lot of other weird dreams too as a teenager. You don't want to know about those ones though. All right, let's just make sure they didn't set. Oh, I forgot about my car. I hope that they didn't set my car on fire. That would blow. I would be boned if they got my car. Wow, it's so peaceful out here. Can, I, like, I can't imagine what it's going to be like to play the game without any zombies left. That's pretty much my goal, though. Just, like, completely clear out the whole area. Oh, wow, they actually haven't done as much as I expected. I was hoping that the whole house would have burned down by now. Right, let's see, not, not waste my time with small pickings, so to speak. Oh, no, they all went toward the town. Well, I mean, both good and bad that they all went toward the town. I'm surprised they didn't burn down more of the house. Let me learn that lead them back to the house, because I know that there's a lot of zombies over by the house. I certainly know how to, um... Yeah, I wonder what would happen if I threw a Molotov out a window, or if it's even possible. Like, can I throw one off of a deck? It seems like very directional, though. The fire does not spread otherwise. I'm going to lead them back onto the house so that they're just touching the side. And then they should ignite every zombie in the house, too. Because there's a fair number of them in there. Oh, whoops. I don't want to ruin my durability like that. Thanks to everybody who's been giving me the tips. Um, they're definitely hurt. I read them every single day, even if I don't respond right away. So I try to get them in for the next video. Wow. Wow, look at that. <laughs> just like, it's just such a spectacle. All right, you know what? I'm not going to waste my time upping my skills anymore. I'm just going to go over here and holler at them. Hollering. Oh, why are they even headed over there? I think that they're being aggroed by the fires that they're spreading over there. They're like, we can't hear you over the massive fire. This is awesome. Okay, there we go. Yes, come at me, bros. <laughs> Wow, look at that. It looks like something out of Sim City. <laughs> Can you imagine like a Sim City disaster like this? Massive zombie horde fire attack. I don't know who you would call the police or the fire department for this. I think first I'd call the fire department and the And then the Ghostbusters, I don't know. Something like that. Okay, I'm just going to ignite all four sides of the house to get them to catch up to me. For some reason, the fiery ones seem pretty fast. Obviously chasing something. Ok, 
Okay, then I'm probably gonna want to leave. Wow, look at all the ones from town. Oh my gosh, a second horde? Wow, that has to be all the ones that got stuck on the fence and now they're all going on fire. Wow. Good. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, half of them are aggroed at me. Okay, now the fire is starting to get a little bit out of control. It's not so... Not so controlled anymore. I think the other ones went back into the house. Okay, good. They're just being aggroed at the wall. And I think they're setting the house on fire too, which is probably aggroing them toward the fire. So I've pretty much achieved my purpose. I'm just gonna go do a quick drive-by in the car. I might get massive FPS drops. Um... But we've pretty much, we've burned out, like, all the, this side of West Point, and I, it should be pretty much safe. Actually, you know what, I'm not even gonna get in the car, that, it might be bad for the game. Okay, and a bunch more are being aggro that way. I'm kind of debating on whether I should even influence this at all. You know, I'll head back into these woods, and I'll creep. I'll creep. Because I can aggro a few, but I don't want to get too many. And eventually I want to be, like, safe in these woods. Because, you know, I mean, later on I'll be foraging on them at night and in day. Once I've taken out all these zombies. This is like the first game where I can actually go on a major offensive against a lot of zombies, though. Because I never thought of using it like this before. Okay, it looks like the fire might have died down here. Either that or it's just spreading in other directions. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'd be awful if it came night now. That is like... That looks like my college at like one of our biggest parties that ever happened. I really do miss those days. Well, let's head back now. Oh, wow. Gunshots kind of mix everything up. I think that that's just about going to do for a day because I, I don't have any more good ideas. I only have a finite amount of good in me every day. Um, so I'm going to head up here. Who said that once? I think that's a Louis C.K. line. <laughs> wow. Alright, that's enough being amazed. I'm kind of debating on whether I should even do this. If It would be nice if there were like a way to kind of turn down your car's sound. Like if you could, I don't know, drive slower? <laughs> I guess I could do that. Let's head back home though. Eventually, I'll want to get more Molotovs, because that's going to be my real... I think my only way of clearing out so many of them. Now, I don't know why my car appears to be glowing so much, but... I mean, I'm okay with it. Maybe I'm being abducted by aliens or something. Kind of a cool activity for one day. One I'd like to try again. Um, but maybe in a different way. Like, I wonder if it's possible to be in a house, throw a Molotov, and then take out a lot of zombies with you. Stay in the burning house, because as far as I know, you don't take damage from smoke. Maybe you do. I wonder if- do you get as asphyxiated? Because I would like to see if it's possible to stand in one place and be surrounded by a horde of burning zombies, and just kind of like, be completely fine in there. It w for some reason, this would please me and give me thrills. Because, as you can obviously see, I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> and that's when we get all the good- that's when we get all the best ideas, once we think we start running out. Oh, I think I'm- am I headed in the wrong direction, or I- maybe I just took another turn. Yeah, I'll crash into something in no time. Yeah, I think I did head in the wrong direction on the way back. Let's see if all these roads lead me back to my same house. Yeah, this is definitely not... I've never seen that cab or that ambulance before. I mean, my map is a little bit hazy, but... Shouldn't be too far. I'm supposed to be at the lake by now. Unless I've driven too far north. Well, now I'm just getting all out of the way. I might have to sleep in the car tonight. It would be so bad, I got my food on me and stuff. And I just feel kind of like a boss driving this car now. The old cars were just not this fast, but for, for Christ's sake, the turns are way too sharp for how fast the cars are running. Like, look at that. I mean, I guess they're like country bumpkin roads, you know, like, just whoever drives on them. 
Okay, it is getting to be night now, though, and I am slightly more scared now that I've seen a zombie. Oh shit, yeah, you know, I mean, like, if I go to sleep in my car I'm, and I'm out here in the open, I could be a bit screwed. Oh, nice, a jeep. Okay, yeah, I definitely went way too far from West Point, so I'm gonna have to go find my house, and then I'll meet you guys next time. I think, I think it's a little bit up the road here. Alright, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next Zomboid. Maybe we'll do a little bit more clearing out, we'll probably get more gas, more water, um, etc. Alright, thanks for watching, bye-bye.